Hello, everybody. My name is Randy Scrapper. I'm here along with Sean Walker. In this video, we're going to create an M365 integration profile in ServiceNow. Let's jump to the demo. All right. Now we're on the, uh, the overview screen. And let's go ahead and check to make sure that we do not have any software models that are Microsoft first. So we go over to the license operations. And we'll check the software models. And we see that we have no software models for Microsoft in here. And let's go down, and Sean, and let's check the, the usage as well, okay. making sure we don't have any software usage. Perfect, perfect. And let's check to make sure that there is uh, no user subscriptions. And one last thing to make sure that we don't have in the system. Ahead. And let's go ahead and make sure there's Microsoft. Can we filter that out to see? None. Excellent. So the last step is we're going to go ahead and check and see if there is a direct integration profile. Okay, so I'm going to look for anything that says Microsoft. Now, so I have a lot of demo data in my system, but none of that is for Microsoft. So there is no integration profile for Microsoft. Excellent. So now we're at to create that uh, integration profile. All right, let's go ahead and select new. Now let's go ahead and create that uh, M365 profile. So we'll toggle down to the Microsoft M365 dropdown. And we'll hit to continue. We'll need to fill out these forms. How are these fields in the form? Okay, so Microsoft 365, that should be good there. And I guess now That's we need to do. grab this client ID that we copied before, right? That is correct. So this is the client ID we caught we we copied over when we were creating the Microsoft Azure Active Directory app registration. So there's another video on that if you guys haven't watched it. So to get these values you need to create that application registration in the Microsoft portal. So that's where I'm getting these values from. Okay. All right. Once we do this, you hit submit. And we want to kick off the job to see if, uh, if it works. Actually, we need to publish this right before we, we kick right. the job off. Right. Publish. Almost forgot about that step. Okay. So I think it's published now. So if we just check here, let's just refresh this. Microsoft 365 published okay so we are good to go we've created the profile it's that easy all right now let's go ahead and kick off the job it is a normally a, a weekly job uh to pull in the import 365 usage information well let's go ahead and kick that off now right uh, well, one thing i think i'm going to add here quickly randy is to be able to create that integration profile we just did uh, you need to be either A, an administrator, B, a, have the role SAM administrator or SAM integrator. Um, those are the roles that can actually create the integration profile. And to kick off, but to kick off the job like I'm going to do right now, I'd actually need to be a system administrator to do what we're doing in this part of the video, which I am. So we're going to look for 365. And it's this one, right, Randy? Yes, the import. Yep. Yeah, so this job here is the one that will bring in all the subscription data. And as you can see, it's set to run weekly. So rather than wait until this kicks off, we're going to go ahead and execute this now and let that run. So we're going to pause the video for a couple minutes and let this integration run, and we'll bring be back in a minute. Okay, so now we can see that subscriptions are coming in here. So you see here we got, we're filtered on the profile we created um, and we have 8,000. So if I refresh this, I can see now I'm up to 9,000. So that job's actually actively running, bringing in all of our subscription data for Microsoft. 
And let's check our usage data. And look at that, we have usage data coming in. Let's go check the software models too. Oh, good idea, yeah, software models. And look at that, before we had none, and look at all the software models that are being automatically created when the integration is running and it's and it's seeing those subscriptions and it knows it's associated with those models. Is there anything we need to do next, Randy? I don't think so. That's it, but okay. There you go, so it's that easy, folks, to create the integration profile, of course, once you've done those prerequisite steps in the Microsoft Azure portal, which is in our other videos. So uh, I think that's it for this series and we'll talk to you soon.